Hello, bonjour everybody. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching my video. Today we'll talk about this kit, Panzer Grenadier Platoon, 10 and 23, from Flames of War to Late War. The kit number is JBX169. And in particular today is, we're going to put them, those guys on this base. You saw my last video was about painting and final review. It is done. But the guy were on the base, but not glue, and the base was not prepped for the game. So that's what we're gonna do today. How to make, how I do, I make my base. Use for that is PVA glue. Well, I get them on the small bottle. I just transfer the big one in the small one because it's a tip one. It's easier to apply. I use also three box. So we'll talk a bit more on details and find tree bark and sawdust. I have two colors of sawdust here and we'll talk more in details about that too. I have super glue to, guy, to glue my guys to the base and I have some cheap paint from the home hardware. When I talk about cheap paint it's more like this one I label Flames of War base. It's one dollar a can because people ask for a sample a certain color, they don't like it. And at the hardware they change the color to make it more nobody wanted. So I bought them for a dollar. It's a brown dirt base color, so it's perfect for the base. So let's talk about my sawdust here. Okay, you can see it's green pretty fine so it's not like uh, so for me it cost me nothing I have a little shop in the back wood shop so lots of sawdust what I do is I, I use paint color like this one is a green color so I go in a big bucket I mix that with water so I can find uh, the right color or the color I'm looking for this one was more like a real nice green and I drop sawdust inside the bucket and I mix it by hand until the sawdust get the color green I'm looking for that's why you got this one is a less green so it's more like fall or dry field so when it's really summertime a long time without any rain it become like burned grass so that's what I achieve with that color I got my green green and it's all a question of how much water paint I use to get that mix so you just judge by eyes or how much you like it and when it's all the paint it's all and water is all sucks in the dry dry wood or the sawdust I use a big uh, plastic sheet I put all my uh, sawdust on it and let it dry under the sun. So a nice sunny day, I do that. Let it dry, time to time I go, and I just move so it dry everywhere, and I let it dry for most of the day. Then I just collect it, and I got a nice sawdust colored green for my grass. So that's what I use, so it's really cheap. Doesn't cost me nothing except maybe a few dollars for my color, and I'm good to go. And that is easy, you find some bark on the ground or anything like that, you can use, you bring it back home and you can use to put on your, on your decor, so really easy, not much problem, so we're going to use that. And if my guys are walking in the, the wood, I use that bark. And you can use a blender, don't use a mum. Your mom or your wife blender for that you can go to a thrift store or something like that get a blender for five ten bucks at work but pretty old you bring that back you put your bark in it and you give them a good run until it's pretty much dust or for me i'm lucky too i have a fireplace a wood fireplace so and all my wood goes in a plastic wooden box if we can see so at the end when i use all of the wood there's lots of that kind of bark in the bottom. So, so that's bark. So that's what I use to do my uh, wood, feel like wood trail run 
for my uh, base. So first of all, what you need to do is place the guys the way you would like to see them on your base. Once your guys are all installed like this and you feel comfortable the way they are, then you can think about applying some glue and spray glue all those guys. The problem I have with them is, for example, those guys, I feel like they should have been met with the hole that the guys still stay in the box and there's nothing hanging outside the box. That my soldier are glued to the base, I'll show you two different way to apply the glue and whatever you're using as flock to make your base. Um, I'm not that much into putting putties around and then putting a bit of flock around. If I want to make like a mud space and everything like that, I'm gonna use my bark to make that effect of a wood or trail on the on the on the base or I use grass to make that effect too. So first option you can do is you take your PVA glue and put that away and apply PVA glue on the base. So what I do is I put a PVA, PVA glue on the base and how much you decide to place on it's a pretty much up to you and then with a with a paint brush you just go around for me I don't really go oh I don't want to touch the soldier or cannot have a glue on his boots or anything like that because the flock would be on his boots or on his equipment if you walk in the wood or in the mud you're gonna find yourself your boots are full of all kind of stuff on it so that's what I'm thinking about those guys they have been in combat zone for months if not weeks and they are used to have uh, dirty boots walking all day in the wood or in the field so I'm just making it to give that appearance so if there's some stuff on the boots or on the lower pants I don't worry too much about that I think I just make a bit more reality on that you just make sure that you glue go between the legs so there's glue everywhere and when that's done you just do I gotta put just a little trail in the middle like that so I'm gonna just make a trail and apply generous amount of flock on it or in this case a generous amount of uh, bark and then I put the grass and uh, again I don't worry too much if it goes over the bark when it's all glue it's gonna look good anyway so and be generous give a good amount so that with the the wood will suck the glue in and stick together so it's gonna just uh, get into and if you see part that is not does not mark any of uh, your grass you just have to put it with your your brush like it does and that's one done that's one way to do it the other way is a bit uh, <coughs> different for I'm gonna use paint so if you want to paint your base you got here that option I'm gonna show you in a second you take your paint and then you put some paint in a small container so you just have to put paint in the container like that because I'm gonna do that just for one just to give you an idea and then you can just paint let it dry put your PVA glue and you go or you can arrive and 
I put some PVA glue with the paint. So I just mix a good amount of PVA glue with the paint. And I just mix. So now the PVA glue would change color. So basically you're applying PVA glue like the other time, but I said the PVA glue is colored with the ground effect you were looking for. So you get your PVA glue there. So I took, I take those guys here, for example, and then I just apply the paint mixed with the PVA glue. There you go. So you got a good base here. So it's paint with glued glue on it. So again, I take my bark to make a trail. It'll be more than just a trail. And then I can go with some green here. Or you can change the color of green and lighter green. And again, don't worry too much to be over generous for that. So we will let it dry. While it dry, I'm going to do all the other bays and we come back and I'll show you the, my next step on that. So thank you. We'll see you in a minute or two. It has been preparing. It's now dry. So we just remove the excess. We're just tapping on the side like that. And then here's your final guys, what they look like. You can see it's, a, it's pretty well covered of a, a nice little layer. Now, you got two options here. For example, you find there's not enough or too much green. For example, you would like to add some more uh, dirt color or anything like that. It's really easy. And you can see that, for instance, one is glued with the paint and one is just the glue over the plastic. So if you would like to add more, <clears throat> you got the, not really two options, but one way. If you decide to put just that PVA glue, here's the problem you're gonna create with it. For example, you put a bit of PVA, PVA, PVA glue and just put the drop. You can see it just sit there. So that doesn't really help anything. You want something that <clears throat> it will just penetrate all the the <clears throat> the flood. So the other option is to use a mix of water. A mix of water. Another option is to mix water and PVA glue about 60 water for 40 percent pva glue and that way when you just drop some onto the pro let's see it's quite difficult, but the idea is that the water would just penetrate everything, and when it dry again, then you your glue would just stick, and everything will glue. So the best way, if you want to add some more flock, is to use a, a mix of water and glue up to a point where it just penetrates everything and then you can add more flux to it and let it dry again. If you use only PVA glue, the PVA glue will just stick on the top of it, then not 
really, do not really penetrate. And then you have to kind of uh, use a brush and doesn't really do the job. So if you want to use only the PVA glue, most of the time it's just the best way to add some other stuff to the, the model. So I'm using some bark. I'm the kind of uh, cheap guys who, if this cheap, it's probably good for the pro to do and to work with. So I'm gonna just use some PVA glue on top of it. And put it right here. So when the PVA glue dries, becoming transparent and you don't see anything. So I'm going to put a bit more of PVA glue. Also, another thing you can use for that, I don't remember the name, but you can buy them from your uh, hobby store. It's like a small amount of uh, lichen or something like that. Also, dollar store sell them for way cheaper, or even some uh, uh, Michaels that is a hobby craft store will sell this. So you got plenty of choice. You just have to put some more, some PVA glue on it and you just depose it on the base and then you got your kind of a bush in the field. And that color, you get also real green one. So you get different option for for that kind of lichen. So here's your two options. You can also use rock, rock that you find outside in your yard, in your yard, and that create your your guys. What you have to left to do is pretty much optional for you. Is uh, for me, uh, what I do is uh, I use some uh, acrylic sealer finisher. This and a spray on top of it so it helps to fix everything to the base and protect it and also protect the paint on your soldier so when you you play with them or you move them it protect them. So I'm gonna finish all my uh, little platoon here complete and we'll come back to you. Also with the option of uh, having some bark glue to the base, you can also make it look like a rock. You just have to use some paint again, really cheap paint, a dollar a can, and just apply the paint on the rock, or what you want to be a rock. I want to stay fixed, so we're going to just use it like this. So you just have to paint look like it is a rock. I thought it was dry, but it's still the paint is not dry, it's still wet. So we're going to do, we're going to do with that. doesn't have to be perfect paint just to cover most of the wood to make it seem like and what you do you let it dry and then you just have to put some shade or brush for dust or anything we'll see when that is dry
it is there's nothing wrong also to uh, that wood kind of appear on it a bit So we just have to put it back here, just like that, let it dry a bit more. While we do that, I'll show you another trick to finalize your your guys here, the solder, soldier. Some people may say I didn't put any contrast or it's just pretty shiny guys here. So. To solve that problem and make it a bit more uh, battle ready or battle in the battlefield, I just have to use oil paint. I use this company, but you, there's many company you can find in a different store that is oil paint. I just question how much you pay, but this is for dust effect. But you just have to look at the color that look like dust for you, and anywhere where there's a shop that sell paint uh, for painting uh, portrait and etc you find oil paint in small quantity there's no reason that would do, that would be good for I don't know how long I can probably get it forever and don't have to buy anymore so anyway and then you just have to brush a bit of that dust effect on the guy so I'm gonna just Put a bit on top of the guy like that so I don't put too much and then I brush the extra to a piece of paper and then I just brush the guy and if there's too much of a dust or you find that it looked like there's too much of dust on the guy you just use a oil paint thinner and you, you just remove the extra paint extra extra dust basically and that would complete that would complete your guide so pretty easy just write like that and then uh, you still have the time to play with that effect as the oil may take up to three hours to dry compared to acrylic paint so it's a good thing for that and also when you use a oil paint and you're not happy with that even if it's days, days later or so on you just have to use a bit of a thinner and then you can thin use that and remove some because it will the oil will re react and start to be able to to play if you use a or play I mean try to find the right word as you can see English is not my strong force first language we can say but if you use a thinner even days later and it's dry the oil paint will start to to be able to play with it compared to uh, acrylic paint where acrylic paint when the uh, when it's dry it's dry and it stay dry so here I give you the effect that you're looking for you just have to to brush us you look like pretty happy with that so again I thought everything was dry, it's still wet a bit, but you got the idea here. So all the shine is removed. And it looked like the guy had been out for a long time and there's dust on it. And the dust is not everywhere, so it's it looked like that shade effect also is where it's more in contact, it's more dust and less contact, or it's less dust. So that's pretty much it. I show you what I use 
for base, I'll make my base for the guys. I'll do that to the other guy, and when it's all done, I'll present you all the platoon for the final. Here, what's the difference between just a bit with that oil paint and dust from how shiny is the guy compared to this guy? It's a really good, really good effect, and it does exactly what you're looking for. Just complete to dust on my soldier. I give you just a few more to look at it, as you can see. All the shine is removed. Those guys look pretty good. I know it's not like uh, some of you do a really good job, but I show you with just a bit of imagination, at no cost, you can create a base and have soldiers around that are I'll say more than decent. So I'll see you soon with a new video. Thank you again and bye-bye.